Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Arturo and I'm an artist and a technologist. This video goes out specifically for my friends over on the Artifact Discord server and it hopes to answer some of the frequently asked questions about grabbing the object files from the space pods, the loop pods, and monolith. Now, if you're new to this channel, here I talk about the tools, techniques, and technologies that I use every day in order to uh, self express as well as uh, for work. So if uh, content creation, photography, film, 3D creation and the like is your jam, then I urge you to consider subscribing since there will be more videos like this one as well as some of the ones already on this channel. Let's get to how we can grab some of the object files from the space pod, the loop pod and from monolith using, in this case, Brave Browser. Now, these techniques will work whether you're using Chrome, Firefox, or the like. I've just chosen Brave uh, because that's my browser of choice for something like this. But if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, something's not working, something doesn't make sense, feel free to ask it in the comments and I'll try to read and get to each one. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're here in Brave Browser. In this case, we're loaded to oncyber.io forward slash Ben's pod. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And we're about to enter the world. Here in the world, we see some 3D objects. Some are animated, some are still images, and some are uh, videos or MP4s in this case. And we can navigate it by using WASD. Some of you may know this, but I'm iterating that for those that may not. If we walk over to the store, we see the prompt that allows us to go from one space to the other. We press E and the door unlocks and we are suddenly in the loop pod in which we see some other uh, videos, some other images, as well as some other 3D objects. Same goes for the room upstairs. If you haven't seen it, I'll show you. Here are some other 3D objects in the space and here is the room. So why have I given you this walkthrough? Well, for starters, it's for those that may not have seen it. And it's a fun space to check around and look at. And secondly, it's important for what we want to do. So we're going to go back to the space pod real quick. And here is where things start to get slightly, just slightly tricky. For this next step, if you're not familiar with the developer tools, then I encourage you to give this a go. It might feel a little bit daunting at first, but I promise that it's not as scary as it might seem. So we're gonna hit Control Shift I, Control Shift and I, and that will bring up this screen that you see here. Uh, although perhaps on your screen, it won't open nearly as big and that's okay. Um, or it might look slightly different depending on what browser you're using. But the idea is that we want to open the developer tools. Um, and we can do that if you don't remember the shortcut or um, didn't catch it by clicking on the settings for the browser, scrolling down to more tools and looking for developer tools or by simply researching uh, online how you can access the developer tools for your specific browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here on developer tools. It will open that screen again. The tab that we want to pay attention to here is the network tab as that one is going to show us all of the different files that are being requested and delivered to us on this website. Currently, this network activity is being recorded. We see that up here uh, where the mouse is hovering. On the top right of the screen, there's a little red circle. That red means recording. And uh, we know that the network activity is being recorded. So if we reload as by pressing Control R or by going to this refresh uh, reload button on the top left of our browser, I'll do that now we start to see all of the different assets that are being requested and shown to us on the site. Now that's, it's plenty of them. And you'll notice that if we enter the world and start moving around, uh, the network tab might start to jump around a little bit in some cases when other assets are loaded, if they didn't load initially. Um, and if we go over to this other room, which is, this is an important part of the process. We wanna make sure that we go into both rooms if the intention is to grab them both we start to load the assets in this other room as well. So now that we have accessed both rooms and we see that the network tab has continued to upload the stuff that exists within both rooms, in this case, videos, object files, and uh, images, we can press escape so as to stop on cyber in the world and we can pay some attention to the network tab. Um, I like to filter by type here because it allows me to get a better idea of where 
what I might be looking for exists. Um, it might look slightly different on your end. And I'm going to give us a little bit more room to work with and read here by pressing Control Shift Plus to uh, expand the text size just a little bit. OK, I'm going to disappear so we can get a better idea of what's happening on the screen. And we are going to be looking for here specifically two files. Now, one way to look for them, and I encourage you to try to do this on your own, uh, is we can scroll through and get an idea of what files we are fetching, requesting. You'll see here some font files if you're familiar with the TTF. Um, this is a font file that's being loaded here. We see some JavaScript. Let's open this up a little bit so we can read a bit more, some JPEGs. And you'll see if we click here, for example, we start to get what those JPEGs that are being loaded are. If we close the preview mode, uh, we can bring that back up and summon it by just clicking on any of the strings of numbers that we see here, and that will show us what JPEG is being loaded. Same for MP4s. Uh, now the preview is not available for, for the MP4s in this case, but if you were to, for example, uh, double click on them, it will open the MP4 on a different tab and then show you the MP4. But the files that we're looking for specifically for the objects are GLB files. So if we type in GLB, we see here monolith GLB. This is the GLB for, you guessed it, the monolith. And we can confirm this by double clicking on it, at which point a prompt will appear on your screen. You won't be able to see this on mine, but a prompt will appear on your screen asking you to save. It's essentially a save as prompt asking you to save the GLB. Now I'm gonna save this one so I can show it to you later. And you'll see here on the browser that it did indeed save. And now we want to look for the loop pod and the space pod files. Those don't save as GLBs in this case. And just to be safe, we're gonna enter the space pod again uh, because I've noticed that in some cases uh, it's necessary in order to find the file. So within the space pod, if we wanna grab the space pod file, we're gonna hit escape again. And under filter, we're gonna simply type space pod. And you'll see a file here called artifact space pod. If you double click on this, it will take you to this request. Um, and essentially what you're looking for here, as we did for the other files, was GLB. So we're gonna hit control F to bring up the search bar. And I've already pre-typed GLB here. And you'll see that we have two instances of GLBs. One up here, which is space pod V2. It, it exists through this link. Make sure that you get the HTTPS all the way through to the last part of the quote here. And if we copy this and open it in a new tab, we'll get that same prompt. We can hit save. And there we have our space pod GLB. And there is a low version of this. Presumably, this is for lower bandwidths or lower uh, quality, lower resolution version of the space pod. We'll save that one too, just in case. And there we have this space pod. Now, because we visited the loot pod before, we were just there. If we're back here on the browser, back on the network tab under filter, we look up loot, artifact loot pod. We see that. If you don't see it on your screen, try visiting the world again as by going through to the from the space pod back to the loop pod and this file should appear we'll double click on it same thing we get some result here don't worry too much about what's happening in this uh screen but know that if you hit Control f so as to find you type in glb it will give you the search result uh for that query just as if you typed image it will show you all the instances of the word image within this text and specifically, again, we're looking here for GLB. So I'm gonna copy the string all the way from HTTPS to GLB, what's, what exists right between these quotes, and this will give me the path to where the GLB is stored. Uh, once I enter that onto another tab, it's gonna bring me to a save as screen. Again, you won't be seeing this screen on your end uh, from my computer, but on your computer, it will just take you directly to the save as screen where you can save the GLB. And I'll do the same for the low res version of the GLB. And you can see that again um, at the bottom of the browser. It, it appears here with a one because I already have one on my system. 
uh, it might not be the same for yours. And again, if you have any trouble with this, feel free to drop a comment and I will answer them as best I can or reach out to me on Discord if you have any trouble. And that way we can help more people uh, who might have the same question as you. Um, so that that's essentially how you get access to the GLB files that exist within the space pod and the loop pod. I encourage you to again, play around with the network tab and see what other uh, files you can find. Um, obviously, th there's a bit of a fine line here between using it for uh, something creative, like creating loop pot skins in the sort and um, just blatantly ripping people's work. I don't encourage that at all. I wanted to put this tutorial together because I know that there's a lot of people out there who are looking forward to getting access to these files so that they can make great skins to share with the community. So hopefully, uh, you know, you'll use your conscience and use your brain and not do something uh, wrong. Um, but now you know how you can access these files. And if you wanted to see how something is made, you can do that as well. Um, if it doesn't look the same on your browser, uh, I'm familiar with the process for Chrome and Firefox, so feel free to ask that below. And hopefully if, if there's something that I can't answer, someone else might be able to answer for you. Uh, this has been this tutorial. And now if you want to stick around for how you can bring this into Blender, that's what we're getting into. So let's get it. Okay, so you stuck around. Now we are in Blender. Blender is a free and open source 3D creation suite that I use almost every day. Uh, I fell in love with it about two years ago and I just haven't stopped since. There's a bunch of great content on this channel as well as some other channels uh, listed here under my channel that will help you get along in your Blender journey and I can't recommend them enough. If you have any questions about uh, what sort of tutorials can I look for to do something like lighting, rigging, etc., feel free to ask me, I'll be happy to help. Uh, but now let's dig into how you can bring the files that we just downloaded into Blender. So I'm gonna go here to File, go to the Import uh, um, selection and choose the GLTF or GLB, as you'll see here. I'll click on that and that will bring up a screen. Again, you won't be able to see it on your end, but on your end, it will start digging, Blender will start digging through your computer and asking you, where did you just save the file that you're looking for? Or where is the file that you want to load into Blender? And in this specific case, we wanna bring the GLBs that we just saved. Like for example, let's say SpacePod V2. Import with the import prompt there. And there you have it. Now we have loaded the SpacePod. And if we go inside it, you can see all the items inside. It's a little bit clunky. You can navigate by using uh, the scroll wheel to go in and out. This is at least how I've mapped my blender. And if you click on the scroll wheel, if you have one, uh, if you're on a laptop, it's a little bit trickier, but we can get into that. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, shift and click the scroll bar will allow you to do uh, sort of this lateral movement in the way I've done. Um, so you can start to see how you can literally just take things apart. Like let's say I want to grab the roof off the whole thing and just take it off. We can do that if I want to take more of the roof off and look through. There you have it. If we want to do something like, for example, change the material on this couch, we can, again, with some prior knowledge uh, of Blender, do that by simply adding a different material here. We'll just call it uh, green and we can change the base color of this couch. Then we'll leave edit mode and go select the couch. We can remove this material from the material slot and now our couch is green. So if you're curious to know how you can go from tinkering within Blender into minting the assets that you uh, have changed, modified, and then placing them back into the on cyber scene, leave a comment too and um, I can make a tutorial about that if you're curious. Um, so this is the space pod file. Let me show you what the other ones look like. We'll import, same thing. It will ask us where did we save it or where do we want to source the file that we want to bring up. We'll import this red room file. And in this case, we have the red room file loaded up, which is the loot pod, the hall, and the newly added room. I'll select all of those and delete them. 
and again, I'll breeze through some of these because uh, I'm not going to get too intensive into the shortcuts for Blender uh, unless you ask. And we have the monolith too. And we can find out what's inside. Let's see. Oh, nothing yet. Well, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't be shy. Leave them in the comments. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. If you found this helpful, I would appreciate it if you left a like. If you want more content like this one, let me know by subscribing. Uh, and I guess I will see you on the server. Thanks so much for tuning in.